Hey everybody, another Magic Valley Business Spotlight. Today we're at Addicted to Auto with Logan Ballard. Uh, Logan, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, absolutely, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so uh, how long have you been in business here? About four years. Cool, and how are things going? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Staying busy? Yeah. Oh yeah, having a lot of fun. Yeah, so um, give us a little insight into you know, what type of automotive work you do here. So we do anything, basic oil changes, brakes, suspension, uh, leaks, Anything going on with your vehicle, uh, automotive, diesel, doesn't really matter. Anything from you know those basics up to engine problems, check engine lights on, engine swaps, transmission, anything basically. Yeah. If it's on tires and it rolls down the road, and we'll probably work on we'll it. We'll work on it. Um, we do like to do some fun stuff here and there. Yeah. Older trucks, uh, some builds. Yeah. Uh, some specialty custom work every now and again that comes up. But overall, we just do a lot of repair and maintenance, lots of leaks, lots of broken stuff. Nice. Take it out and fix it and put in new stuff. <laughs> so, you know, tell me, how did you get into this, this business? How did you get into the automotive I just always kind of had a knack for working on stuff. Mm -hmm. If it didn't work, tear it apart, make it work, and throw it back together. And always kind of have an interest in it. But uh, just started doing it one day and got really into it. Decided to go to college. Um, I spent two years doing diesel. Oh, okay. And uh, got done with that and kind of worked for a while in the dealership and eventually started my own thing. Um, what made you want to kind of branch out on your own and kind of have your own business? I always like just having, being able to kind of work on what you want to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, being at the dealer where I was, there's a lot of big trucks, diesel. I mean, it's, sure. it's fun. But I did like working on cars and pickup yeah. trucks. Things that were a little bit smaller. Um, I like getting, the, you know, I like the fact that I get to talk to a lot of people. I get to meet people. Mm -hmm. uh, I get to know some of the other business owners around the valley. I get to meet them. I get to start making some good relationships there. Uh, I enjoy working on, you know, I just enjoy what I do. Um, so, what would you say is, you know, kind of your core values for your business? Honesty. Uh -huh. Try to be honest with everybody. You know, it's not all going to the mechanics. You don't always get the best news um, mm. but you got to be honest with them you got to have some integrity you know it's you can easily lie to somebody about something but that's not what we do here you got to be honest sure um, well, you know what what types of things uh, do you like to do outside of work outside of work fishing I like go fishing oh, okay. we do build we got a rat rod that we built that we kind of do on our off time that's definitely something we have a lot of fun with uh, when whenever we get a moment yeah uh, fishing outdoors I got two little girls, hanging out with them is the best. Right so, on. I mean, basically anything outside. Cool. So yeah, this is just the rat rod. Uh, call it the Riddler. Uh, basically, uh, basically a 1930 Chevy Coupe cab. Got a 91 S10 frame, 454 big block. Definitely gets up and goes. Just something that we like to have fun with just for fun and that was it it's been kind of a budget build pretty much everything from it is found out of a field junkyard something like that the most expensive part of it is the rims and tires uh, many many things on it are just reused old ebay found a couple of guys on craigslist in boise that i got 454 parts from and turbo 400 transmission 